In this video, I'm going to be teaching the part part whole method that we've been using in class uh, that helps the children find number bonds and the relationships between two numbers. Uh, so, here are the key words that the children have been taught uh, and that you'll need to know as part of this demo. Uh, so, it's going to be uh, the word part, whole, number bond, which is the reason uh, we're doing this to help teach number bonds and all together. So there are some key words that you can be using while teaching, working on this with your child. So here you can see that we have the part part whole model that we use in class and this just helps to um, co collect the children's ideas. So in this box we write what we call the whole. Okay. Uh, and I'll type that there, that's the whole. And that is what we have all together over here. So you can see all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna type in here six. Uh, that goes in that box there, you'll see. Uh, now what we do is we divide it up into the parts. Now the parts you can see are represented in this picture by two different coloured stars. So you can see here that we have one, two, three purple stars. So I'm just going to write three and that becomes one of the parts of the whole which is six altogether. The other part is obviously the yellow stars which is one, two, three and again we have a second part of three. So we're basically teaching the children here that you can break the whole up into two parts, three and three. And this could be equally different if there were two purple stars and four yellow stars, you would have a part of two and four. So that's just a way of breaking up the total number that you have there. And so here we have uh, number bonds for six is three and three. Uh, so the children could also investigate different ways of making six by finding two different parts. Here we have a slightly harder challenge as it involves the children identifying the missing part and it makes them think a bit more closely about the information they already have. So you can see here we already have the whole which is the number of in this case faces that we have all together. So the whole is nine and you can see here that it's saying we have a part of five and this is referring to the purple faces over here. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the missing part and missing number problems uh, require children to think a bit more deeply about the number numbers that they have in front of them. So they'll see, well, I have uh, five faces over here. Five is one part. So then I need to count one, two, three, four uh, orange faces. Uh, that's the other part of my whole over here. So we have the whole and over here we have the part. Okay, uh, and this is another part, I suppose. So I'll just type that there. So you can hear, see here that the whole is nine, and that is made up of two different parts, five purple faces uh, and four orange faces. <clears throat> this is the most open uh, challenge for this part, part whole model, and it requires children to maybe think of their own and it really helps them to develop that understanding of what the whole is and what the two different parts are. So for example, if I have a whole of, let's say, I'm gonna do seven objects, uh, and then what we can do is I'll put in seven objects in here. So I've got one, two, two, ooh, two three, I'm going to do four red ones and maybe I'll just do four blue ones. One, two, there we go. Thank you. Right, there we go. Sorry about that. So here I have seven in total. So I'm just going to move them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's time to identify the parts. So I have one, two, three, 
four red triangles. So four is one of my parts there. And I also have three blue triangles. That's gonna be my other part. And I just, oh, there we go. And so seven can be made up of uh, a part of four and a part of three. Uh, I could go and then change that so I could actually say that I have uh, another red one. So in that case, the hole is still seven, if you ignore this triangle over here, but the hole is still seven, but this time it's a part of five red triangles, uh, and this time it's two blue triangles. So that's the part part hole model that we're teaching in class uh, and it's just about teaching children number bonds and different ways of making a number gives them a real good understanding uh, of how each number is made up so i hope that was useful uh, and it might be useful to work on that at home whenever the homework comes back home and just gives you an idea of what we're doing in class thank you